Eric Brazis writes, Hey guys, great show. Not long ago you talked about how much blame, praise, a director gets for how well a movie turns out, and that got me thinking. Out of all the directors working in Hollywood today, which one could get a studio to agree to fund, let's say, $100 million and distribute a terrible idea for a film based solely on the director's reputation? In other words, who could pitch the absolute worst idea for a movie and still get a green light? Wow. I like that question. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a great question because a lot of people have this image in their head that Hollywood directors, they get to call the shots. And generally speaking, they can't. Like even a guy, there's one of my favorite stories. I've, I've alluded to this story before, but one of my favorite stories uh, in, in all of Hollywood was this great story about how M. Night Shyamalan, uh, the sham hammer as I affectionately call him, hmm. Sham Hammer was getting ready to go into pre-production on Lady in the Water, one of the worst films in cinematic history. And but he was a pretty hot name at the time. Yeah, he had already he already had one or two disappointing films, but he was still kind of considered the guy. You know, he was the the current poster boy. You know, everybody loved M Night at that time, mm -hmm. and he had written this horrifically terrible script uh, for Lady in the Water. And Disney, the head of Disney and the production of Disney, she had problems with it and she arranged a dinner meeting with her and M. Night to talk about some of the issues that she had with the script and that she was hoping she could convince him to change a few things like hey M. Night maybe it won't come across so well you casting yourself as the writer who everybody misunderstands but whose writing is destined to save the world maybe it's not a good idea to do that you know maybe some people might that might rub them the wrong way maybe it's not a good idea to make the real idiot in the film a film critic who you know criticizes your films and then have them be devoured by a horrible monster <laughs> maybe that won't come across so well to many people or maybe your story just sucks i don't think she said that but um and m night was so irate and so angry he's, he's like that's it i'm done with you he was, and he got up and he left and he left disney and he doesn't make films uh with disney and, and their mm -hmm. partners anymore and he went on to make another studio said okay you're m night you're pretty hot right now we'll let you make your movie and it turned out to be one of the worst films in history <laughs> anyway so most studios uh, they don't get starstruck just because a Martin Scorsese walks in right. and hands him a script. Doesn't mean they're going to go, ooh, Martin Scorsese, mm -hmm. okay, Martin, whatever you say, we'll do it. No. no. The thing is when Martin Scorsese goes into a studio and says, I want to make this movie, you can probably bet your bottom dollar it's a pretty damn good looking movie right. for them to do, right? <laughs> and so um, I, I got to say, the only, I can only think of one name, one director who might have the the swagger right now. And the chips in his pocket to be able to walk into Paramount Studios or Disney or Warner Brothers or anywhere he wants with a script written by John Campia that he wrote between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. about Sparkles, the magical little toilet gnome who lives in the <laughs> toilet of your house and comes out at night and has magical adventures. And I wrote that script in an hour. I believe only one man can walk into a studio today and get Sparkles, the magical toilet gnome, and his misadventures made into a movie. And I believe that's Steven Spielberg. I don't, I think, I even think if Christopher Nolan walked into Warner Brothers, they'll say, Are you high? I think if any director right now walked in with that script, but I believe if Steven Spielberg walked in, he's probably the only guy with enough pull that, look, no, no studio executive anywhere wants to say no to Steven Spielberg. I'm sure there have been. I'm sure there have been. And I'm sure probably even Steven Spielberg couldn't get Sparkles, the magical toilet gnome made. But if anybody could, it would be Spielberg. Right. If you guys have any other ideas about who, jump in the chat board. Mention it in the chat board who you think maybe could get that film made. But I, as far as I'm concerned, I think only Spielberg could do it. Do you, could you think of anybody else, Christine? No, and they're all agreeing with you. We got uh, Christopher Nolan, Steven Spielberg, and somebody but J.J. Abrams. I don't think JJ could get yeah. that film made. <laughs> Just saying. He he has he doesn't have the track record yet <laughs> to, to get that done. All right. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.